Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play by me, the Gamer with Six of Sim Tower. On the last Let's Play, we got our third star. But I don't think for this Let's Play we'll get our fourth star. I'm surprised we even got this up quick on, what, two Let's Plays? So for this Let's Play, we're hopefully just going to get a good amount of money so we can keep on expanding our tower. And again, if you want to play this game, the link to it is down in the description. And if you come across this thing where it's really laggy, just click up here, wait a couple of seconds, and unclick. Hey, look at that, it's back to normal speed. Why does that happen? I have no idea. It only seems to happen on Sim Tower. I really think it's because, like, the amount of calculations it needs to do gets backed up and then it gets real slow and then I have to click on that for it to do all the calculations and then it goes good. That's my only thought. Which is weird because I never experienced that when I played it on my Macintosh computer back in what? The 90s? Granted that was on a Macintosh computer directly and not through like a browser thing. ClassicReloads.com, great website, gets to play all my own favorite games. Though, I guess in retrospect, I never really got anywhere when playing this game, because... You know me, I would play the game and go, hmm... Uh, I could do better and then restart all over again. Because I'm terrible. Terrible wolves. Mm, this game really does suffer the old... Hey, you know how you, there's a good chunk of things where you have to wait for, like, money to accumulate and stuff like that? Let's not really have a fast mode. Well, it does have a fast mode, but I think that only counts for night. Do we have recycling? Oh, I guess not. It's a lot of money. And hell, as long as, you know, people aren't losing their minds over it and, like, leaving. Actually, let's see. Everybody seems alright. Except for the people right next to, uh... What's wrong with these folk? You know, maybe I shouldn't put a fast food on the residential floors. What do you guys think? Yeah. I mean, it's like, on the one hand... Uh... Maybe these people go... Did these people move out? But hey, look, we got a whole bunch of money. How did we get all that money? Raisins, I guess. Yeah, anyways. Let's actually move these to the right of it so that we can put stairs there. Where do you... Do you need to put stairs? There. Uh, let's move this up just a tad. Nope. Need sweets. I mean, that could maybe, hopefully, probably not help with the uh, flow of office people going from those floors to other floors. Probably not, but still. So. More of those single rooms. I mean, it can make a lot of money. Though, I guess a good amount of money that we did make was from... It being the... First day of the quarter? All we should do is probably push this up a tad. Heck, really again? I don't know why it's doing this. Click. Generally, you have to wait for all the audio to go back to seemingly normal. Yeah, maybe we should put a medical center. I didn't think of that. 
Oh, it would be on the same floor as that stuff, I guess. Every tenth floor, so that's get the eleventh. I think. Or, you know, we skip. Hmm. What's our policy with elevators? Twelfth floor. Okay, I'll put one up here to set the floor and all that stuff. Now then. Uh, let's see. Right, medical center. How much is that? It's probably a good pretty penny. Yeah, it's half a million dollars and we don't have that. So, we'll just make more hotel rooms. Okay, we need to that over again. I find the idea of hourly hotel rooms so odd. Like, I know why it is, but I, w like, I wonder who was the first person to think of that. Like, hmm. I mean, they're not going to need it for an entire 24 hours, give or take things. Like, I think you can get 12 hours, but you have to get out by, like, what, maybe 10? Depending on, like, if you're honors or something. Okay, what's an honors or whatnot. Anyways, um, then they're like, mm, they'll just need it for an hour. Just an hour. <sighs> Now I'm just thinking how busy it gets during, uh, what? Con- well, conferences, you're there, so you don't need a hotel room. Unless you happen to keep it with other people, but, um, what's it called? Prom night. Eh. It is really weird that, okay, I don't know about, like, other college stuff, but now I'm thinking, like, it is really weird that in my high school, our prom was in a hotel. Not an hourly hotel, just a regular hotel. It's like, though, I mean, I guess parents would expect children to come back home. Unless they're, ha the parents are like, eh, just come back whenever, for don't wake us up. Yeah, I got monies. So what do we need to get to the next level? Uh, help. Pops up tower. Contents. Uh, reach for the stars. Let's see, got three to four. Big population. More than one hotel suite. Recycling center. Medical. Uh, plus of April. Uh, yeah. Okay. And... Can you, like, get rid of all those things and let me be able to see what's, like, what these things are? I guess S would be sweet, right? Hmm. <sighs> more money or more stuff. Let's go with money. Hopefully people aren't just leaving. Let's see. More cleaning ladies. And more two-person stuff. We're gonna try and hold out on everything else. enough money for stuff. Heck. Can get stairs. I think the cleaning ladies do use stairs. Which is weird. I mean, logistically, I mean, you have to carry, like, a cart up and down stairs, that... They must be strong. How's evaluation? Everybody yeah, seems pretty doing pretty good. well. Good. Well. 
Business is very good, good. How about on residential floors? It is as well. I know office people want fast food, but I'm not sure if residential wants it. It'd be kind of sweet to live in this place. As long as the walls and ceilings and floors are thick. Because one thing I would really hate is having to hear people. You know, I like my space. I like being able to go into my room and be like, I can't hear people, or I can't hear them very well. They have to be making a large amount of ruckus, and hopefully I don't live next to somebody who's practicing the drums. Or blaring loud music. Like I worry sometimes when I walk around my room late at night doing VR and like talking to people maybe a bit loudly, but I, I can't say I've had any complaints, so that's good. I mean, you, when you're in VR, you kind of get lost in your own little world. What am I going to do? Oh, one thing I could do is put, pull this down so that, oh, so that, you know, everybody doesn't have to rely on that place to go down to the basement. that next. There we go. Now more people will be like, oh, there's two elevators. Is that the hotel rooms again? all that money. <coughs> Do you like money? Oh, would you look at that? Who's walking up and down? Damn it. Either the cleaning ladies or some else. I think it's the cleaning ladies, but I'd have to check. I did this one when I played this last. Um, cleaning ladies were walking up and down stairs. Which, yeah, okay, sure. to get an actual job. Cause that'll be so cool because I'll be able to be like, hey, I can go to work and I can work and get lots of money, hopefully. I mean, if I graduate college, I'll have a master's degree in geology so I can actually, you know, be able to get money. But, you know, that's why I thought coming out of, you know, my old college. Ah, uh, foodstuffs. Should we? Yeah, we should probably get a restaurant eventually. And shops. Not sure about cinemas and halls. We're gonna have to put that like. Ooh, shite. I'm just thinking of all the things that need to be right next to the uh, sky lobbies. Do we have? Yeah, we have the express elevators. Oh, what was my thinking of this? I only have like 24 elevators, these things. Lord. At least you can delete elevators and stuff. How's the hotel rooms? That's the way I like it. I'm just thinking of hourly hotel room places where you need a cleaner. <clears throat> Jeez. I mean, that maid would, or maids would be happy to have to work 24 hours a day, right? Oof. And in not the best conditions. Ew. And what about, like, 
tell places where there's like where most of the people are uh, newlyweds. Maybe. Like what, the Caribbean or something? Damn you, Santa Claus! I always found it funny in like movies when it about Santa Claus or Santa Claus is real and all the people are like, I don't know if Santa Claus because it's like parents and stuff and whatnot. It's like, you know, every single Christmas time, presents just mysteriously appear under the tree all the time. And I don't know how this happens. It's like, so presents just magically appear under the tree. If you don't know who put them there, you're you or your wife or any of that stuff, but you just see that stuff under the tree and you're like, mm, it's magic. Some heck. How much is it? Oh, I guess we'd have to build an entire basement. Heck. Yeah, whatever. Let's focus on money making. Because money making's funny making. Bugger. You know, not everybody's gonna want to come to just that, so let's have a restaurant. And a shop. Yay, we have no money. We'll talk about diversity later. It's amazing, we have exactly zero dollars. But hey, we got a medical center and diversity in terms of stuff. But I want diversity in terms of these things, because when you quit the game and load it back up, it resets the thing so you can have it. everything as... What's the first one you get? You can have all Japanese restaurants. You know, guys, we got stairs. Actually, where are you guys from? Office, 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 more office. Oh yeah, we might want to be changing it to escalators once you actually have cash. Because, from what I've been told, uh, heck. This is the third time this Let's Play. Bit down. Almost. Come on. Wow, it's really... Huh. There you go. Anyways, peop Sims are only willing to go up seven... No, wait, four flights of stairs, but seven sets of escalators. The only two downsides of escalators is... One... Escalators can only be built on, like, burger stuff in restaurants and lobbies, non-residential or office. Which is a good reason that I put all these um, food things here, because I can just put it here without having to destroy anything. Except for maybe those hotel rooms. Mm, those are kind of cheap. And second, they're also expensive. Which we don't particularly like. I never saw what these guys' demands are, but it shouldn't be too much. <coughs> what is that floor, anyways? Okay. Because usually every 
but he just kind of coagulates over here. Though I guess I do have most of the food areas over there. Maybe if I go into the right? No, I guess I could all go to one floor. Or is there, is there a max to the amount of, um, you know, people that uh, can want to go to one thing? Oh, there are a lot of people wanting to go to office spaces. Mm. Eh, it costs money, but it'll make people happier. And us poorer. Now I'm thinking of the movie, what's it called, uh, Home Alone 2. Boy! That's just... an interesting movie these days. Mostly, uh, about the, uh, guest star in it. That's only in for a small amount. Yeah. Escalatoras. Why don't you use them? So, oh, I guess you're not open, right? Yeah, but this is very good for your English, bub. And men's clothing, full of women. Eh, Christmas, maybe. game isn't as bad as, what's that one game called? Evil Genius. <coughs> like, <coughs> Jesus. I only need to get something to clear my throat. Every now and then it gets all full of gunky. Even when I'm not sick or drinking. What are you? Woman. Okay. I was wondering if it was like woman and child. Homebody. Okay. Well, child or English thing my grandma uses to move stuff around with her. She goes shopping. Foods. Pastries. What was it talking about before? Oh yeah, Evil Genius. God, that game. Because, like, there's a lot of things that you need to do in maintenance stuff. Like, when you're not stealing stuff or committing acts of evil, you need to do other things like steal gold or uh, plot or uh, increase your minion number or train your minions or if you have the money, build stuff. And all that takes time. Time that I have side plays for. Usually those things are like me just going... Well, I can't, like, just study or something like that, because I periodically need to look up in that brick's concentration. And, like, it's a bit of a pain to be like... Because... I have to look up because, you know, people come and try to steal my stuff or kill a whole bunch of people or blow things up. Especially when I'm doing things like stealing or plotting because that increases heat and then guys come to my place and then... Heck. Some, some 
it's I always feel weird when, <clears throat> when I'm thinking about like having large quantities of cash. Like if I had unlimited amounts. Because on the one hand, it's like I kind of have my lane kind of thing where I'm like, I got large quantities of cash, I would just have a nice place. Like I would definitely want to go up like things would cost more money for certain things like first class flights because hey when you have your nice big seats and get a provided meal and stuff like that that's all nice as compared to being in cramped quarters it's not really getting anything it, it, on short flights i could understand like sure just do that for like an hour or something like that but when it's like hours and hours and hours i prefer to have like an outlet so that i can like room that i can put my computer laptop computer on the thing and a power outlet and stuff like that when i don't have to worry about anything when it's, when, when it's smaller then it's like Must be maximum capacity in these places. Hmm. 69. Nice. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Wish I'd named this one. Eh, first one, no star. World star. But then, as I'm continuing my train of thought, it's like, sometimes it'd be like, well, I'd like to be in a very fancy hotel that has, you know, two stories and chandeliers and a hot tub inside the room because that's so noise and stuff. And then it's like, eh, do I really need it? I mean, that's just a waste of money in a way. I mean, heck, as long as the room's like Hilton or Hyatt or something like that, where... Yeah, it's expensive. It's like, what, $200 or something like that a night? It's like... But it's, you know, not five-star. It's like, yeah, these are nice. The beds are comfy, the pillows are always shitty because they're always lumpy and stuff like that. That's why I should, I should probably bring my own pillow from doing stuff like that. Where do we get that money from? Oh, from, like, food. Okay, yeah. And then it's like, um... Yeah. I mean, as long as I have control of the temperature, things are clean, beds adequate, then I'm good. I don't like fancy cars. Like, if... If I had a nice house and all that jazz, and... Okay, we should probably change these things around. We got the times. Um, the hell is trying to oh yeah, fancy cars are nice, expensive cars are nice, but the thing is, I'm a Honda dude. I don't like my Honda Accord. It's like, miles per gallon's good, and hey look at that, people are going on escalators on boards, fuck yeah. Can he put it here without having to blow stuff up? Fuck. I have to destroy those three, I think. But then, it its room is quite adequate. There's no truck when it comes to moving things around, but I can definitely like move things from like my parents to my college dorm, stuff like that. Uh, has good safety rating. I've only had to do certain maintenance over it, even though I've had it, like, what, 10 years, I think? More? I've had it for a long time, and it's a damn fine car. By the way, this, uh, Let's Play brought to you by Honda. Honda. It's a good car. I'm joking, though. Uh, so I guess we're out of time. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching another Let's Play. Bye, more. The illustrious and bubbly game of six of Sim Tower. Again, if you want to play this game, link to it in the description. It should bring you to what the hell is that website called? ClassicReloads.com. 
website where you can play really old games, which is neat. This, sim, uh, hands, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you know the drill. So please uh, comment, because like comments, and would you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise, if you like my YouTube and like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos to help it grow. And please remember to spay and or neuter your animals, because that's something that's important to me, and hopefully important to you. Cut to that. I always hate when that happens. And... Yeah. Until next time, as soon as I spend all my monies, find me a gamer with six of hell yeah, which is that's a nice clean thing for us. Sim Tower. One for a couple seconds. Okay, so thanks and see ya.